Yo, what is going on guys? Ice Cream here. In this video, I am going to be showing you guys the workaround for the DM outfits online. It is pretty much a solo method. You will need a player. You can use a community or something like that, but you do need someone on, in an online session to join off of. They don't have to know you're joining them. Just somebody. Um... This is going to be the no kill bird method. So, you know, if you guys have brought outfits online, you know you can kill the bird, you can duplicate the bird, or with these saves, you can actually skip all that and not do either of them. So, to start out, you guys are going to go to the time trial. You're going to go ahead and start it. And once it has started, you're going to go ahead and Press down on your D-pad, select a single player character, and go ahead and head back to story mode. Now right now the time trial is out by the LSC by the prison. So Now once we're back in story mode, just be prepared, because with these saves, like I said, they're like the DMO save. Michael's going to walk out. He's going to get a phone call, or actually, I think he calls Lester. Yeah, he calls Lester. So as soon as Lester starts laughing, we're going to press pause, online, or actually, online, Rockstar Editor, and enter director mode. So if you guys did DMO, you know, you get those certain calls. They're like hooks that can uh, bring director mode into story mode, basically. From there, you should be in director mode. Go to your shortlisted actors. Go ahead and choose whatever outfit you want to bring online. And since I ended up picking one with a duffel bag, I'm also at the end going to show you guys how to save the duffel bag. If if you don't know, it's been the same method for quite a while now. But figured I might as well throw that in there since I am bringing a duffel bag online. Now, once we get out in story mode. You might be able to just go online from here with the direct mode up in the top right hand corner. I tried it a few times, it wasn't working. So actually what I had to do is actually exit director mode. So you see the director mode up in the top right hand corner. I think that was preventing me, the glitch, from actually working properly. So what I do, right now I'm getting that playlist ready, that way it's on my double tap. So if you guys don't know how, you just play a playlist it'll be in your recent activities if you have a friend that plays playlists it'll be in their recent activities you just need that recent activity that says join playlist once I have my playlist now I'm gonna go ahead and exit director mode like I said you guys can try it without doing this but it wasn't working for me so I actually exited director mode so now I'm just in story mode with this shortlisted actor from here we're going to go ahead and press pause we're going to go to online and we are going to go to an invite only session now after the three thumps up into the sky the screen's going to freeze this is the script trying to detect if there's anything that's not supposed to be taken online once this unfreezes we're going to double tap and click on that playlist you're gonna get this alert so you're gonna double tap three times double tap click it double tap click it double tap click it do not accept this alert once you have done that three times you are actually gonna find a friend or someone through a community that is playing online and just join them they don't have to know that you're joining them from there I wait like 10 seconds maybe 15 seconds and then I accept this alert. Sometimes that alert to join that person is right behind that alert though. So if it is, go ahead and accept it. For me, it's taking me back to story mode. And as you can tell by the circle, I'm gonna get it here. So right now I'm gonna be spamming X. The alert should pop up, accept it. And now it will load me online. I also did get this alert it said uh, something about failed to join 
player or something left the session. I don't know. We'll see here. I didn't speed it up until after this alert because I wanted you guys to know. Just in case you get this alert that it's okay, just go ahead and press X to continue. Player no longer in session. Joining new GTA Online session <laughs> is what it was. So from here, what's going to happen? It's going to spawn me down. And you will see, this is where you're going to know if it works. So hopefully it does. Because when you spawn down, you should see your character for, you know, five seconds or so. And they should be wearing the outfit. If they're not wearing the outfit, it didn't work. So there, she's wearing the outfit. And you're going to get this error. You can go ahead and press continue. That's how Rockstar patched this, I believe. Is That's what they did to all the director mode stuff. Just put errors in there, kicking us back to story. And once I'm back in story, I'm just going to go ahead and press pause, go to online. Or, psh, online. I don't know why I always say online. I'm going to go to game, and I'm just going to load a game instead of completely closing the app. Either way, it's about the same, except you don't have to go through the glass breaking and the sirens and stuff like that. So, a little bit shorter, not much. Once you're in story mode, just go ahead and head online. Your character should still have that outfit on. All in all, not too bad of a glitch. Unless you have to duplicate the birds. If you guys don't have save wizard and you guys are duplicating birds and stuff, that's pretty annoying. But So now once I'm back online, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to save the duffel bag. Since I brought it online, I'm going to have to save it anyway. Might as well throw it in here for those of you that don't know how to do it. So we're going to hop on the Mark II and we're going to head to the mask shop. Like I said, this is if, if you guys know how to save the duffel bag, that's the end of the glitch. So, but if if you don't, then you can continue to watch. But it's been the same method for, geez, months, like six months, seven months, long time. Eight months. So, we had a malfunction here. I pressed triangle to jump off, and it's just making my oppressor go down. So, I had to get back on. We're going to fly back up. The basic point here is... For those of you that don't know, we need to get up in the air. We're going to jump off of the oppressor. We're going to parachute down to the mask shop. And I actually like to, like, hit the mask stand itself, like the actual shelf with the masks on it, and fall down. Because I think it gives me, a, like, a second or two more time to spam my D-pad. You guys can try to just land right in front of it if you want, but I always try to hit it. Now this part, if you guys have never done this before, it, it can get a little irritating if it doesn't go right, because then you got to go run back out there, get your oppressor, fly back up. But like I said, I like to land right on the stand, and you fall down right in front of it, like boom, and then start spamming right D-pad, and bam. From here, just go ahead and press square to edit your saved outfits. Go down to your empty slot, and we're going to go ahead and save this outfit. I'm going to label it pink. And from there, now you can go to your interaction menu and equip it again, and the duffel bag is there. Bada boom, bada bing. But that is it for the video, guys. Pretty easy glitch. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I hope you guys all have a good weekend, man. Peace.